My dad's 6'8", and my mom's 6'2". Right now my brother is in 8th grade and he's basically my height, maybe just like an inch or two shorter. Um, so coming from the tall family, you're used to being tall. Um, my mom always said be proud of your height. Um, and of course I always will be a you listen to your parents, right? I get um, a lot of comments about my height, shoe size, um, if, what sport I play. Like especially they ask volleyball or basketball and I always say basketball. And then um, most people get it basketball right away because that's the assumption that you play basketball if you're tall. The ones that get me is they comment very loudly in front of my face like trying to whisper but you can obviously hear them like being kind of smart Alec, like just like oh she's tall that kind of gets me sometimes like it frustrates me or they just gawk at you for like 30 seconds and you're even if you walk by there you turn around and you can still see them gawking at you but it doesn't bother me anymore I did a little bit when I was um, younger but not anymore you just get used to it if you see me on the street just come up to me and say hi don't just like stare at me just like actually come up to me if you have a second just say hi get to know me because I'm very friendly to talk to and if I have a minute or two I usually do I'll talk to you for a while my dad's always watched the Minnesota sports and has always been a great supporter I love the Vikings I love the twins the wild all of them I get frustrated with them like everybody else but the thing is I'm still dedicated to the fans. I'm a Minnesota fan and I'll always be. I love the Lynx, don't get me wrong. I'll support them no matter what. I'll keep up a score in my pocket, like especially in the um, championship or finals, like whatever. I had my phone on me and I screamed when they won it. Like everybody looked at me, I captured like, like I was crazy. That's great that the Lynx won and brought a little bit of promotion to us because we kind of have that bond between the Lynx and Minnesota here, especially with Lindsey Whalen. And um, we had Ashley Elsman and Brittany McCoy on the practice team that one time. So we have that connection with the Lynx. One of the CAs in Wilkins came and said, you should come play capture the flag. I was like, eh, no, I'm not sure if I should go to this. And then finally, I'm like, I have nothing to do. I'll go. And it ended up being a lot of fun meeting new friends. And I just love capture the flag. I have so many good people supporting me. I get the most hugs anywhere from there and just I can be myself, be the goofiest I want to be and it's really nice. We split up into two teams, the green and orange team. Um, we go to opposite ends of the field, one flag on each side. Um, the, if you have, the green team that's guarding the flag cannot touch that flag, only the opposing team can cut, touch that flag. But you just, the main object is to get the flag and put it across the halfway um, marker, which is different for every map that we play. You can mess with each other, you just, you, some people get very competitive and that's what they do, they go after the flag, they don't stop. We dress up a lot, like so we have ninjas and we just have people that dress up really funny. I'm one of those people, I love dressing up goofily and just being the silliest I can be and everybody loves it. You just be yourself. That's what they want. I just, I'm like, yeah, I play basketball. And they're like, wait, you play basketball? And I'm like, yeah, that's what I do. I saw him on TV when I was very young, um, watching Goldie especially. Goldie, the favorite mascot, just watching him really got me intrigued. But just watching how the style and play really got me also intrigued. I'm more of a hometown kid. I always want to stay in my state. Uh, every time we go traveling even, I just want to come back to Minnesota just because the environment here. I like the cold weather more than the warm weather, but just being in Minnesota just feels right and I don't want to go anywhere else. a blast just being on the court and especially in front of Williams Arena fans they're like my favorite in the whole wide world they're so dedicated they give me a laugh sometimes especially when they're getting after the refs that I laugh so hard even if we're in a serious game I still have to crack a little laugh because it's so funny I love the fans here a lot of people don't know that like well the main thing they don't know is that women's basketball is free to come for U of M students like they can come in cheer we always want a student section so that's why when I go out in public like hey you should kind of go it'll be kind of fun like just to get a crowd going and maybe it'll spark some energy in the Williams Arena for us. You can see a lot more heart and like dedication trying to get that W because it takes a lot more work and I believe in women's basketball because we're not as, not as athletic as guys just being completely honest but we still work just as hard. I'll be graduating this spring um, with my youth studies major. Um, I will be taking the youth development and leadership program in um, the master's program um, in the summer and the following year. I work at the Franklin Library. It's a 4-H group right now. Um, I try having fun like 
act like I don't treat them like they're what their age is. I treat them like they're just the same age as me. I respect them and listen to them. If they have something they want to tell me or they want to be goofy with me, I'll I'll listen to them and be goofy right back. I love being a youth worker. I just want to help kids these days. Like they need all the help they can get. Like especially getting their voice out, um, be able to learn. Um, like collaborating with them. They just want to be listened to, like have their ideas exposed. I want to be noticed just for me. I Yes, I play basketball. Yes, I play for the U of M, but hey, I'm Amber. I'm someone else that plays other than sports.